Hello everyone, Susan here. I am trying out a new camera on a tripod setup. It's actually my uh, Droid Max phone on one of those new little clamp things that attaches to the uh, tripod. So we'll see how this goes. I'm still not quite sure what the best angle is. So I thought I'd start with the flip on this little, uh, looks like about a 3 by 4 Paris Journal cover. It's not necessarily Paris inside, um, but it's frou frou like Paris. These are the chipboard covers that you can get already pre made. And then I added rings. I don't use rings very often, but on this, on the little ones, they seem to work just fine. And just tied some textiles up here, added a little charm. Yeah, there you go. That's a Zedlitz coat of arms, a little path tag that we buy with uh, geocaching, which is a whole nother story that I'm involved in. And then just made a little cute little dangle. Okay, let's go inside. On the closure, I just used uh, lace. That's not lace. What is that? Ribbon, a little tiny ribbon. But I did that little closure where you use the bread and the little, uh, uh, what do you call those things? Well, I've lost it, but anyway. And then I attached a little key, added a little feather charm, a little bit of ribbon. Let's go inside. So here we go. Have a little tag for them to decorate. And I'll probably go ahead and put washi tape on here. I didn't because I thought about putting this type of closure in after I'd already put journal. But I'll probably put a little glue on there to hold it. A little ticket. Sewed a little pocket out of a textbook page. A little friendship. And I have to laugh because I had this like this when I poked the hole for the bread to go in. I didn't realize this paper was there. <laughs> I poked a hole here, so tied a little thing on there. Just put some little stickers. Doesn't mean anything. Just stickers I had on there. Little sticker page. Little flip out, fold out with two little tuck spots. Little ribbons, <clears throat> like we all do on the paper clips. And I had a bunch of these little things, uh, thumb punches from when I made a bunch of tea dyed pockets. And I just hated to throw away all those little things, so what I did is I just put them on here for decoration. They're not really tabs, they're too flimsy for tabs, but they're cute. More little short pages. I always have to try to put a raven in there somewhere. Short pages. Little pages. Some bling. Fold out with a little tag inside. Another fold out. And mainly, this was basically the same size as my prayer journal that I love because it's small and you can write small little prayers and thoughts as you go and uh, so that's why this one ended up being so small because I love mine and this is a little plastic bag I found that picture of a butterfly and decided just to add it add a little piece of lace a little fruit fruit tuck spot behind here a little tag inside a little envelope Oh, and this is the envelopes I've started making. Is that not so much fun? Making them out of textbook pages and just folding them up. Put some little pieces of paper in here for them to write on. Little notes. Little hidden spot back here for our secrets, secret thoughts. A little bling. Another little pocket that I sewed. Added a tag, tag, a ticket, 
little card, little Aces Clubs card. These little journals are so much fun cause I'm trying to find little ephemera to put in it. Uh, Paris out of hand. I got this book about Paris walking around Paris like a tourist thing for because I did a swap in the process of doing a swap with another uh, person on on uh, junk journal junkies and I had some extra Paris things so I stuck them in here. More stickers. Just decorations. Lots of spots to journal in in this one. And I made one of those uh, little tag things. I'm not sure what you call them but they're on a uh, bobby pin with this thing and then you just cut out a picture to put in there and then put uh, glossy acid accent on it and that's what makes it shiny. They're fun but they're a lot of trouble getting that glossy accent smooth. None of mine were smooth. Another little tuck spot. This is just another little fold out. Tuck spot behind it folds out in thirds. Another one of those little pockets. Put some little tiny ephemera in there. And this is just some of that punch. What is it called? Punchinella? It was just a pretty color, so I put it in there and slid a little piece of paper behind it, put a tag on. Stickers, more journaling spots. And Although it may not look like it, these, sitting there gluing each one of these on, that took a lot of time. Eric, look at all those. Can't even hardly say that was a lot of work. I'm not so sure it was worth the effort. But it is cute in, or in person. Put it, fold out. Another one of those little textbook pages that I made. And uh, put, uh, I can feel stuff in there. I won't open each one. But this was cute, I thought. It's a little pin. Put some little key and lock charms on it. Let it hang down. And of course, you always got to have one or two things upside down. There's number one. Bling. Upside down. Here's another one of the little Paris pages. Little tuck spots on either side. Fold in. Secret thoughts. Now this pretty much does the same thing. Bull nose clip here just holding in a little tag says eternity. And I went through and put all the little extra um, stickers that I had. I don't use a lot of stickers but I like some. Punched out a flower out of the text page. I'm starting to like that. I haven't done much of it but there may be some flowers in my future. Another little pocket, little cat, thought that was cute. And this is a little chunky, uh, little three by four. Lots of place to journal in and put pictures, so when it's full, it's probably going to be alligator mouth about like that. But I just love all the little dangly stuff that hangs out of it. And I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with this one yet. But... It's cute and I like it, so I may end up using it for myself. A little clothespin holding this shut, and then here's a little secret spot. Here's this. So I like to make little complicated fold outs just for fun. So whoever gets the journal can write their secret thoughts. Someone had to really work hard to find out all their secrets. More stickers. Fold out, cute little hanger, paper clip. Oh, and I've got some of these feathers uh, dangles. And at first I had them hanging off here, but they just seemed to get in the way more than anything. So I attached them to some paper clips, just for fun. Here's another little pocket. 
And I left all of these where you can stick little secret notes behind all these pockets. Fold out. Another one of those little complicated fold outs. And I found that Paris tag. I think it was wrapped around some lace that I had bought. Look at this guy with his dog. Printed on material. I thought it was cute. Journaling spot. More journaling spot. Tag to decorate however they want. Hold out. Another one of those handmade envelopes. Stuff inside. Hold out. All of my journals end up being quite thick. Tuck spot. Little decorate. Little punched edge paper. Inside. Tag. And I found a whole package of these little prongs that I just thought were cute. So I've been sticking them in each one of the journals. That one I tied a little ribbon on. Start off with their junk. Another little pocket. Bling. I get these little number things at the dollar store. I think it's a, actually, I think it's a dollar tree. I can't remember now. But they're cute for little spots of bling. I hope I'm staying in frame here. Whoa, just knocked the whole thing down. Another little flip out, another little fold out, tri-fold, fold out, tag. Now I didn't decorate the tags in here, I've been decorating the tags in all the journals lately and I thought, you know, they might just want to decorate their own tag. I don't know if I'll be able to stand it. They're uh, kind of plain looking to me. but. Um, here is uh, another, I used the inside of a cereal box, made a little pocket, there's a little tag, here's a little piece of, this is chalkboard, a little chalkboard tag which I thought was cute, I thought that I'd let them put it where they wanted, maybe put their name on it which I thought was cute. And here it is, Susan Zedlitz, made just for you, 2015. And that's it, it's quite thick. There's the... And there's that. Chunky and cute. Bye-bye.